Now, continuing, there are several concepts that you want to take a look at and be comfortable with. Number one is least privilege. There are many systems out there that start off with global privileges. In secure systems, we recommend the exact opposite. You want to make sure to support the process or the concept of least privilege, which means that you grant subjects only enough access to objects in order that they can perform the required tasks. What that means is you will not want to start off with giving someone global access to every object. In fact, you start off with no access. So when a brand new subject accesses a system, they can do nothing until they're granted access on an object by object basis. Now this can become very tedious, so the idea may be to group objects together. We'll talk a little bit later about different mechanisms and techniques that we can use to group objects or maybe even group subjects together to make life a little bit easier for administration. Keep in mind the goal is to limit authorization creep. Authorization creep is a term that we use that refers to accidentally or unintentionally giving subjects authorization to access objects that we did not intend. So when you use the concept of least privilege, you turn all access off unless you specifically grant access. And again, we try to turn off or avoid the authorization creep concept.